breathe in and breathe out. Naturally coming into stillness. Knowing God wants to bless you, not only with physical food and drink and clothing, but also with spiritual nutrition to clothe you with strength and dignity, letting you abandon fear, no longer operating from a place of lack, but walking in confident awareness that God promises to provide for you. And now stay mindful of your breath as I read this portion of the Sermon on the Mount from Matthew with additional text found in the book of Luke. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the lilies grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? You of little faith. Do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your Father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It is good then to check in and see where your treasure lies and if it is a place you want to rest your heart. And now just let the word treasure circulate through you and see what comes up. What's the connection there with the treasure? What do you see? And what do you feel? There's no right or wrong, it simply is. Because likely your treasure is a gift from God, your family, a passion, a place where you feel grounded and safe. Hold it tenderly in your heart and mind and thank God for it. And now broaden your awareness so that alongside your treasure, you also include Jehovah Jireh, your provider. In one hand, you hold this dear person, place, or thing that you treasure. And with the other, imagine clutching the hand of God, the provider of this treasure. And then compare and contrast a little here. Maybe with words. Maybe just noting your feelings on the two and discovering how the energy surrounding the two differ. Whatever differences you find, I believe that is the Holy Spirit pointing you to the aspect of Christ that your heart longs for. Receive this knowledge as a gift and without judgment, fear, or impatience, Begin moving your treasure from the temporal to the eternal. Not loving your person, place, or thing any less, but opening yourself to see how your earthly treasure box has limits. But that God is offering that same gift of security, peace, joy, kinship, confidence, whatever it may be, when God offers this quality, it is not diluted or bound to time or circumstance. God's version is the purest form and without limit, available to you without any possibility of fading, passing away, becoming unreachable. 
This is where God wants your heart to store your treasure, saying, yes, yes, you do need all the other things, and I will give them to you. But fear not, little lamb. I am the great I am. I am enough. Make me your treasure, and I will give you peace. Thank you, Jesus. Find rest here, anchoring your heart in the eternal treasure of your provider and gratitude for all the generous blessings from God and for the physical, temporal gifts in your life as well. They are all beautiful and all gifts from God. Selah, God is good. Let a smile grace your face. Go forward from here with gratitude, knowing you are blessed.